Hello and welcome back to my channel, Angus is Gaming. I am Angus, and we are back on Flycorp. Um, I feel like I need to redeem myself after the absolute failure of the last episode. So we're not playing the last scenario that we went on to, which was uh, quick scenarios. Ten seconds. This one failed miserably. So, I'm going to have a look at one of the other scenarios today to see if we can do a little better. Okay, regular scenarios we'll go for. We'll try this one. SIS countries. You'll start in Russia, the biggest country in the world, so the distance between cities is longer than in other countries. You'll have to unlock a new or former CIS country every eight minutes. Okay, so we're going to give this one a go instead. So, let's see. Starting in Russia. Yep, it's pretty big. Oh, starting with a thousand buckaroos, mind. Or should I say rubles? Is it rubles? Okay, so we will... There's another airport just opened. No, it's just mentioning these long. God, these are long distances. Okay, so we'll go back to our plan of all the cities inside a country connecting to the... Is that a part of Russia? No, I did not know that. All the cities connecting to the capital city of the country. And then we'll connect the capital cities to each other. So... Um, I think there's going to be a lot of upgrading planes in this challenge. Uh, Russia really is like crazy big, isn't it? But is all th all this is all this wasteland? Not not wasteland, but you know, is anyone like up here in Russia and out here? Or are they just concentrated in a fairly, you know, small area? I suppose we'll have to see. I mean, if we get start getting places over here, we might have to think a little bit differently about connecting to our capital. Still, that's for another time. Is anywhere else opened? No. Okay. For oh, 500, really? Okay, we'll, we'll wait on that one. Should we, um, should we upgrade these planes? Oh, that's not bad, 80. Oh, it doesn't cost as much as... Right, so if we do that, they now go in the tiniest bit quicker. Um, Yeah, there's literally... Is anything else going to open? Or... What? Well, we've got five and a half minutes to make 200 buckaroos. So... Or rubles, as they should be. Um, okay, we really... We've got to wait for these... Should we run it forward a bit? Oh. All flights to Ivanovo, Ivanovo have been cancelled because of a huge migration of the rare bright-winged pigeon. Random. An international nature preservation organisation will compensate you 209 rubles. Okay. So, nobody's going there, but if we open this now, we're only going to be left with 70. So, let's get at least a hundred. Um, oh yeah, spacebar changes the speed. Okay, let's open Belarus now then. So we've got 174. Oh, of course it's not enough. Brilliant. Um, 
Yeah, I didn't really think of the distance between them. I didn't actually know where the capital was going to open up either, so that was an issue. Okay, Ukraine next. So that's quite far, and I have no idea where Kiev is. Is it Kiev? Ukraine? I think that's right. Oh god, come on. We need that plane to come in. 54. Oh, only 47. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we'll do that. So he's off now. On his merry way. Uh, at the moment, he can only take... 20... 20 people. So I think we're going to have to upgrade him. He's going a little bit quicker now as well. So we got 8 minutes. How much is the Ukraine? Oh, they're going up 50 each time. So... we got a lot of money to make up. wonder if it's worth... See, planes are only 80. Maybe get another plane on this route. <laughs> because it's such a long route. Chibibovsky. What is this one? This is Kirov. So how many people want to go to... No, wrong one. Uh, only, uh, only four people want to go to Kirov. Which is not bad. Okay, we'll speed it up a little bit. Cleared everyone out of there. So we've got 206 now. Okay, uh, there's a contest for the best airline with a huge prize in Minsk. Participating will cost us 275. Should we join? No, I got done by that in the last episode. So for now, we'll just make a bit of money. Hopefully, there won't be any issues. Oh, yeah, the different sizes sort of catching up with each other. Well, there we are, that shows the difference in speed. So, Moscow, what are you doing? Okay, we're managing, managing for now. Until we're at breaking points, we'll leave it. Just go, you know, orange, red. But if it gets too much, obviously we'll... Uh, We'll change it. So, how many are coming back now? Is, did I upgrade this plane? Yes, because it's got the engines on it. So that can take 50 people at a time anyway. So we've got three minutes to open the Ukraine. We've got a bit of money now. So we'll open that. Go. Oh, wait a second. Kirov. So they want to go to Moscow. We can go there. 336. It's crazy stuff. Uh, Moscow, so they only want to go there at the moment. I suppose we could make Moscow. Moscow I keep saying Moscow. Moscow. Um, the hub, I suppose. Because what's next? Moldova. Hmm. We'll see about Moldova. We've got 10 minutes built up. So, is Kazakhstan? I, I don't even know what countries are going to open. I'm assuming Moldova, Lithuania, Latvia, Kazakhstan, maybe? I don't. I, I really don't know how many countries are going to open. Um, everything seems to be coping at the moment. It's just about getting there. See the Kirov, that's this one. Right, the employees of the aircraft manufacturer went on strike. Prices on new planes and upgrades for existing ones are twice as high. Okay, so is that going to affect us when we buy routes as well? Or just... Uh, if we add an extra plane onto a route. You know what, I think we may as well upgrade that. It is managing Minsk. Do they want to go to Kiev? 
two of them. And no one wants to go to Minsk. So, uh, Moldova, nice. Under how much is that going to be? Six. Oh, that's going to have 50. So, the first one went up 50. And this one went up 55. So, I'm assuming the next one will then be 60. So, it'll be 665. Crazy stuff. See, if we did it now, it'd only leave us with 80 odd. So, we may as well let the money build for a couple more minutes. Hopefully, not have any disasters. And. Yeah, go from there. Yeah, so Moldova is like Romania, Re Bulgaria, Georgia, Azerbaijan, Armenia. I tell you what, this is a this is a really good game for learning where places actually are in the world, especially sort of this area of the world, because. Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, oh, but I never known they were there. Okay, Moscow, you're going a little bit orange. What's going on, Kirov? Uh, so, how much would be? Oh, it's doubled in price, yeah. So, we'll hang on for a minute. I think we'll get Moldova now because we've got a nice bit of money. They want to go to Kyiv. Why does everyone? What's going on in Kirov? It's like the place to be, is it? Um, is that gonna be too long a journey? Or should I take them? I think I'll take them there. I'll take them there and then. Cheers now. See, there's people want to go there anyway from Kiev, Minsk. Which is now Kiev. I think I might make a. I'll make a route here as well. Uh, Moscow. Which is now Kiev, Minsk. Kirov. This one seems to be. Uh, did I upgrade that plane? No. No. Oh, no. 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 I'm waiting, aren't I? Uh, I gotta wait. Um, so we'll speed up time a little bit. Right, Azerbaijan is next. Uh, I saw that just now. Where did I see that? Where did I see that? Oh, there it is. There. Okay. So, 665. Yes. The Ukraine government gave you a grant for upgrading the airport in Kiev. The airport level increased. Oh, fantastic. So it wasn't a problem before, but I just... Oh yeah, it is uh, upgraded, that one. So, 10 one of Moscow. I think we're doing okay. Moscow, because it's our hub, is obviously busy. But... We're doing alright. We're doing okay. <laughs> Much better than last time, anyway. Um, Azerbaijan is a long way away. You know what? What the hell? Let's open it. So, oh yeah, Baku. Baku. So, how much is that journey? Oh my god. So, is this one shorter? Hang on. 1192. 1155. 1133. But that's a lot of connections if they want to just go to Moscow. You know what, I think I might leave them for a minute. Armenia. Armenia. I might leave them for a minute and just see what the travel list builds up to. See, there's two to Kiev and Chisnau. I wonder if I made Kiev the hub for this side. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I actually, I haven't got enough money to join it up anywhere at the moment, so... Um, yeah, they're gonna have to sit and wait. Okay, they wanna go to Baku. What's going on down here? Kiev, Bosco, Chisnau, Kirov. Why is Kirov so popular? What? what? Does anyone... is there anything special about Kirov, actually, in real life, in the world? Or is the game just choosing that place as the place to be? Oh, uh, I think we'll upgrade this plane. Oh, everyone wants to go in. Right. Um, Kind of need a bit more money. Okay, we've got 16 minutes to open up Armenia, so we've got plenty of time. So I think I think we'll go to Moscow with this one. I think we'll go to Moscow. We'll do that. Okay, and we'll also this plane definitely needs an upgrade. It might need a couple of upgrades because by the time he gets there, it's just going to be full again. I wonder if we took Armenia that way. You know, when we open up Armenia, if we take that over to Kiev or Cheers now. Oh no. no, 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 plane out. Oh, thank you. Don't do this to me now, come on. Right, so we need a couple of planes to... Oh, come on, plane out, plane out, plane out, plane out. I don't believe it. <laughs> ah, Moscow airport is full. Keep an eye on the number of passengers in each city. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, well. Another failure. I'm getting used to this now. Uh, right, well, that was that challenge. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not going to restart that one. We'll come back to that one at another time. So, if we go back into scenarios. Oh, why am I so bad at this? Uh, yeah, so it was this one, one minute. So. I think I'll leave it there now. Uh, we will come back to that one. We've also got to come back to this one as well. Extreme scenarios, I think we'll leave them well alone for now until we get used to these ones. Uh, right, once again, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video or subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. It is very much appreciated. I'm just a regular guy playing games for fun. Let's just, you know, have a good time. Uh, and with that, hope to see you next time. And see you again.